The first thing we need to do is to make a selection of the greenery right there and add snow to it. Let's go to select and then color range. We want to select the greens. For now, in the selection preview, choose none so that we can see the entire image. Then decrease the fuzziness to somewhere below 10. Now choose the first eyedropper right over there. Make sure invert is unchecked. Then click on one of these green areas just once. Then with the plus eyedropper right there, keep on adding different areas of green. You can also click and drag and draw around it to add multiple colors. Now, once you have done that, you can change the selection preview from none to grayscale. Now, in this case, white are the areas which are selected, black are the areas which are not selected. So increase the fuzziness slowly and gradually. We don't have to select everything. If the fuzziness is too low, there would be sharp edges and we do not want that. And if it is too high, then everything will be selected. We don't want that either. So let's find a sweet spot. I guess this is a good number. Hit OK. Now with the selection active, let's click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose solid color. Let's choose white because we want to add white snow. You can also choose off white. That's up to you. For now, let's choose white. We only want it in the bright areas. We don't want to absolutely blow it out with snow, right? So double click on the right hand side of the layer. With the help of blend if, take the slider of the underlying layer from left to right. That takes it away from the dark areas of the underlying layer or the layer which lies under it. So this is very, very harsh. So hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on the slider to break it apart and then take these sliders apart. Now that is looking more like it. Looks pretty nice. Hit OK. Now still there's a hint of green and we want to add more snowy color to it. And the way we do that is by first of all turning off the snow layer. We can name this snow and then select the background layer. And just on top of that, we will create a hue saturation adjustment layer. So click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose hue saturation. Now we want to decrease the saturation of the green areas. So with the hand right over there, just click on one of these green areas and you will see yellow selected because it's not exactly green. There's a lot of yellow in it as well. Increase the saturation and the hue all the way to the right so that you can fine tune the range that we are targeting. And fine tuning can be done from right over there. So let's take it away from the face areas. We don't want it to affect the face too much. We can take it a little more to the right as well to attack all the greens. Now bring back the saturation and the hue back to normal and then simply decrease the saturation. All right. And also let's increase the lightness. Now it's getting closer to snow, right? Now let's turn on the snow and have a look. It looks more realistic. Also, we didn't want to absolutely desaturate every area. We want to keep the dark areas a little saturated. So similarly in here, double click on the right hand side of the layer of the hue saturation and then take it away from the dark areas. Let there be a hint of green. Of course, hold the Alt key or the Option key, click on it to break it apart. And there you go. That looks more like it. Hit OK once you're satisfied. We are already getting there. Now, we definitely have to make some improvements to the mask. If you have a closer look, the faces are affected as well. So here is before snow. This is after snow. See the faces affected. So select the mask, take the brush, black is the foreground color, and then just take a soft round brush and paint over the faces to take it away from there. Now to paint intelligently here, you can also choose the quick selection tool and make a quick selection of the leg right there, the other leg as well if you want. Take the brush and then erase it. It's easy that way. Leave a little hint of snow around the edge. Press Ctrl or Command D and let's look at it. Looks pretty good, but wait, there's still a little bit of problem around the edge of the hair, right? So we need to take the brush, this time white as the foreground color. Just paint over the edge, just blow it up, blow it away and it'll be fine. Looks pretty darn good and zoom out and our image is ready. Now, the only thing we are left to do is to add some snowfall to it. Similarly, right here, you can make it a little smaller, just a little smaller and then hit enter. Definitely make a copy by pressing control or command J and then simply move the copy to the right. A little bit discrepancy here and there doesn't really matter once you change the blend mode. Now group both of them, select the first one, hold the control or command, select the second one, right click on it and convert to smart object. Now change the blend mode from normal to screen, click on the mask button right over there and then you're going to just take the snow away gradually from the bottom because there might be a hard edge right there. So let's make a gradient like this. It looks more realistic. Also, you want to take it away from some areas in the subject. So select the mask, take the brush, 
take a soft round brush, black as the foreground color, and then just take it away from important parts of the face. You also have to keep it realistic. Don't completely take it away. Let little parts be there. And there you have it, my friend. I made the snow a little smaller, and this is my final result. Let's take a look at the before and after. So this is the before, and this is the after. Completely winterized.